and welcome into WDHN daytime at 11 o'clock. I'm Joseph Sims. This morning, severe weather hitting the wiregrass, bringing winds up to 70 miles per hour and dropping a possible tornado in Cottonwood. WDHN meteorologist Jordan Ambrose and the first alert storm team were on the air and online overnight before, during all of this happening. He's bringing our storm team coverage this morning. Jordan, what can you say about the storm? So this storm did pack a punch, even dropping a possible tornado near the Cottonwood area. Now, what happened was we did see a strong line of storms push through the wiregrass, and I'm going to show you why we tell you guys make sure you do, if you stay in a mobile home or you stay somewhere that's unsecure, why you have to go to a more secure building. So I'm going to show you some videos that we've seen. So if you can see some of that damage, look at that RV. Now, if somebody was in there, that could have been deadly. This possible tornado that did drop in Cottonwood flip this right over. So this is one of the main reasons, and we stressed this earlier before the event came. You need to, if you live somewhere, even if this was straight line wind damage, 70 mile power winds, we're seeing 70 mile power wind gusts and a possible tornado. And this was actually a fairly weak tornado based off what we've seen off the radar presentation, but still flipping unsecured things. Somebody was in that RV could have been very dangerous. So this is why we stress these things, and I'm glad everybody stayed safe. Looks like a possibility of a tornado. The National Weather Service will be out there to confirm in the coming days. Back to you, Joseph. Jordan, just another reason to be aware this morning. Damage reports coming from around the Wiregrass where a possible tornado touching down in South Houston County. Union Hill Baptist Church receiving the brunt of the damage in Cottonwood. Debris scattered in the yard. Winds reaching up to 70 miles per hour at points. Trees toppling in the yard of the church. Crews closing off the road to pick up debris. As you can see, the scattered amount of debris limb just in the yard yards alone there at Union Hill Church. And now as soon as the severe portion of the storm passed, the crews were rushing out to restore power and replacing downed power lines. Thousands have been without power this morning from the storms, especially in southern Houston County like Rehoboth and Cottonwood. Alabama Power reporting less than 50 people without power now. So power coming back online for those who were impacted by these severe storms. Some other structure damage in the area is a fence near Cottonwood. Some wood breaking along that fence there. Just minor damage but just another example of a fast or how fast that wind was blowing. Luckily, no injuries have been reported from any of these storms here in the Wiregrass. Some trees also reported down on County Road 33 in Skipperville out of Dale County. This is from straight line winds up to 70 miles per hour. Straight line wind damage accounts for half of all severe weather reports.